There we go, I think it started. Are you ready, darling? I can't believe in doing this nonsense. This is stupid. Oh, don't be like that. You have to speak up if you want your fans to hear you. My intrepid listeners probably don't want to hear me under the res. It's not terribly appealing. Well, I mean, for some it probably is, but... That's good enough for me. Now do the intro like I told you. <sighs> Scheiße. Good evening, intrepid listeners. Tonight I am taking some time off of my travels and am joined here by my captor. Mm -hmm. What was that? My friend, Prince Scully. Hello everyone, Prince Scully here. Who has so graciously agreed to help me craft an episode of Midnight Marinara, ushering in a new era of consumer to creator interaction. How does this work exactly? Well, I think it's only fair creators answer to the demands of their fans. And, speaking as a long-time fan of Midnight Marinara, I've noticed your recent season has been lacking in something I personally want. So, I've drafted a script that the pasta shade has so generously agreed to adapt. Oh, so it's finally finished then. Does that mean we can get this over with and you can let me go? <laughs> we'll see. Here you go. Now don't hold anything back. Okay. Hmm. Yes. But this is... Oh. Ugh, that's disgusting. They do that with the head? I mean, corpse mutilation is one thing, but this is just... Scully, I can't produce this. Oh? Why not? Look. I've seen some utter depravity in my time on this planet, and nothing, not even the antics of my younger sister, repulses me to the degree this... this story does. I can't put this in front of people, I have standards. Oh, but it's exactly what I want. That's what we agreed to. I only agreed to it because you kidnapped me and held me prisoner in this dark closet for a week. <laughs> That's too bad. Ouch, my essence! That was just a little snip, darling. I'll happily cut you up into more pieces if you go back on our agreement. Oh, sounds like the cookies are done. Now don't you go anywhere. We'll discuss this further over a snack. I'll be right back. I think he's gone for the moment. I'll be real with you intrepid listeners. Something is very wrong. And I don't mean me being abducted, which it is. This shouldn't even have happened. It's like I've been noticing as my journey has gone on. Back in the day, this never would have happened to me, but it seems like my powers are... Uh, hey. Um, hello? Have we met? No, not really. But I'm a longtime fan. A real fan. I'm like Scully. I'm, I'm Sayd. One of Scully's roommates, I guess. I see. What are you doing here? Well, I normally leave Scully to his schemes, but I think he took my best pair of magical scissors, so I thought I'd get them back while he's busy in the kitchen. Oh, fair enough. I don't suppose you're necessarily in league with him when it came to conspiring my impromptu incarceration? Oh, no, no. <laughs> I mean, sometimes he forces his horoscopes on my podcast, but beyond that, we mostly just tolerate each other. And honestly, you're not the first poor soul he's kept hostage here. The last one he kept in a mirror. Anyway, um, what, what's he got you in here for? And fuck, do I really want to know? Well, for lack of a longer explanation, I've been miseried. Scully won't set me free until I've done Midnight Marinara the way he wants it. He even gave me this... thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is his usual trash. Pretty restrained for him, actually, but it's still trash fiction. I know, right? I can't do this on my show. Well, I might have something. If you look at it, it's not much, but I think it might be a way better fit for your show. Oh, by all means. If it is even a fair story, it might help restore me some. I kind of need good stories to exist. Oh, well then I hope this helps. I did say from the beginning that she wasn't right for you. Yeah, but you never liked any girl I dated. Because you have shit taste, man. Trust me, no one knows you better than I do. Except for maybe Mikey. <laughs> but I've got two years on Mikey. I've known you since you were six, so I know you have shit taste in women. <laughs> Alright, enough. You've made your point. Can we not talk about my tragic love life anymore this trip? I was lucky to get time off this year. I want to have some fun with my two best friends. Your only friends? <laughs> All right, shut up, both of you.
Okay, last stop before we head up. I'm gonna let Mikey stretch his legs. I'll meet you inside. Good old Foothill Shop. May your flickering cold beer sign never go out. Come on, Mikey. I bet you gotta go. What's wrong? Don't you have to go? Come on. Come on. Okay, but you better keep it in until we get to the campsite. Wait here. We'll be quick. Nathan! Over here! Got everything? No, I can't find them. I've got the beer, I've got Mikey's jerky, the chips, the water, and everything else. But no pudge pies. They're always here. Right here! Maybe they're out? Then there should be an empty pudge pie box, but there isn't. Okay, calm down. We'll ask you. Maybe move them. Nathan, pudge pies are a tradition. We need them. They're like a symbol of our enduring friendship or something. Sam, you're ridiculous. Calm your shit. I need my pudge pie fix too. Come on, let's ask. Whoa, that's not you. Huh. Well, <laughs> it could be. Maybe the old man discovered himself and had a sex change. <laughs> That'd be something. Ow! You're staring at her? You just got dumped and you're already checking out another girl? I am not. You're hopeless. I haven't seen you before. Where's old Hugh at? Oh, Grams' back is giving him trouble. So I've been helping out with the store. Don't think I've seen you guys come in before either. Ah, uh, well, we're more like yearly regulars. We've been going up to the camp at the reserve once a year since we can make the drive on our own. Oh, cool beans. Most people turn towards the coast from here. I don't think a lot of people still go camping out these days. Did you find everything you need then? Yeah. Actually, no. Where are the pudge pies? We always buy a box worth, and the only place we've ever found them at is here. Pudge pies? Oh! Oh, we don't carry those anymore. We only had them because the company that made them was local, but I'm pretty sure they shut down. I think about a month ago. No more pudge pies? Sorry about that. We have a good variety of hostess stuff. It's not the same! Goodbye, my soft chocolate cake stuffed with creamy nougat and caramel. I'm sorry. He gets dramatic sometimes. Uh... How much for everything? Goodbye, my sweet pudgy pie angels. Dude, you were kind of rude to her back there. At least I wasn't ogling her. I wasn't. For a guy who's never had his own girlfriend, you give me a lot of shit. <sighs> Whatever. What's your problem? Are you really that upset I thought she was cute? Mm, no. I don't care about that. Then what are you upset about? Pudge pies. I got this bad feeling now. Seriously? They're tradition! This camping trip is the only time we ever get to spend time alone. Just us. And Mikey. Pudge pies are a part of that. We've loved those things since your folks first brought us out here. It's a goddamn omen. Can't you feel it? Yeah. I'm really bummed too. But it's still the three of us. And that won't ever change. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. What do you keep looking at your phone for? I'm looking for pudge pies. It's too late for this trip, but someone's got to be selling boxes of them on eBay, right? I'll stock up on whatever I can find and we'll ration them out over the next few trips. Don't think they'd last that long. It's how you know they're better than Twinkies. Quality over quantity. Any luck? Nah, nothing. My reception is already cutting out, too. I guess we could try other convenience stores along the way home, too. I'm finished with my tent. You need any help? I'm good. Almost got it. It just hit me. This is farther out than we normally go, isn't it? Nah, I'm pretty sure we've been farther out than this. We're only like an hour's hike from the truck. Now hurry up. Mike and I want to explore. Right, boy? Okay, okay. I'm done. Let's go. Slow down. Mikey! Come back, boy! Mikey definitely doesn't show his age. Let's break here. Mikey, come here! Want some water? Yeah. You shouldn't be out here. Holy shit! That scared me. Dude, you can't sneak up on people like that. Mikey, stop! Quiet! This area isn't safe for amateurs. You shouldn't be out here. We can take care of ourselves. What's with that rifle? There's no hunting allowed here. I know these woods better than you, kid. And I'm serious. You should leave. What the 
fuck? I don't know shit about guns, outside of that they're cool in movies, but that didn't look like a standard hunting rifle. He definitely wasn't any kind of ranger either. We'll report him on our way home. We don't have any service out here, but we should head back before it starts getting dark. Yeah, okay. Is this really the way we came? Pretty sure. Hey, Mikey, come back. Where are you going? Holy shit. Watch your step. What the fuck? That's a deep hole. Mikey, come here. Be careful. There's something down there. Oh fuck, that's a deer. That's a very dead deer. Are, are those spikes? Who the fuck would dig a trap like this out here? That hunter, probably? How, how long do you think it's been dead? Not long. It looks pretty fresh from here. Hours at most? I don't think the fall killed it either. You can really smell the blood. It probably bled out. Uh, shut up. I'm gonna be sick. What are, you, what are you taking pictures for? That hunter might fill the hole by the time we're able to report it to anyone. This is probably why he said we shouldn't be out here. Yeah, good point. Shit, what if it, What if one of us had fallen in? Let's get back to camp. And watch where you step. We don't know if this is the only trap. Mikey's not happy about being stuck on a leash. I know, but it's too dangerous to let him wander around. I think we should get out of here tomorrow. It's not safe out here, and we should hurry about reporting that guy. Yeah, okay. Man, I told you I had a bad feeling. I still have a few days. We could head for the coast instead. Yeah, I guess. But I hate sand. Or at least we could head down to a more familiar part of the woods. We're pretty far up. Okay, yeah, let's do that. That's still time together. What's wrong, boy? Something's out there. Give me the flashlight. There! Over there! There's something out there, I think. It's, it's that hunter. I, I, I don't know. He doesn't look right. Mikey, no! Come back! Nathan! Shit! Wait up! Nathan! Stop! It's too dark. Even with the flashlight, if, th if there's more traps, we could fall into a pit. But Mikey! I know, but it's too dangerous. I'm sorry, I'm the one who tied his leash. It's my fault. But we'll search for him as soon as there's enough daylight if he doesn't come back on his own. Okay. Fine. But the second we have daylight, we go look for him. Mikey! Come here, boy! Mikey! We've been searching all morning. Where is he? What if he's hurt? We'll find him, Nathan. We'll look all day if we have to. Hey, I found something over here. Isn't this what the hunter was wearing? What the? Why the hell would he leave his clothes out here? Oh, gross! Don't touch them. It's covered in something. Ugh, slimy. Ah, don't wipe it on me. What is that? Black oil? More like rotten death goo. Smells awful. I don't know what grosses me out more. This or the thought of the hunter walking around naked. I'd streak if my clothes got covered in this stuff. This is gonna sound weird, but I think there was something wrong with the hunter last night. I thought it was just dark, but his face didn't look right. It was sagging, and I couldn't see his eyes. You're just freaking yourself out. But just leave it. We gotta find Mikey. Nathan. What? There's something else here. Mikey's collar and leash. He might be nearby then. Mikey? 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 Nathan, it's getting too dark. We need to head back now. I have to find him. I'm scared that he's hurt. He's out there alone. I know, I know. We'll, we'll, we'll keep looking tomorrow. I know how much he means to you. We're not going to give up. Thanks, Sam. Damn, that was a long walk back. I'll get the fire going if you figure out... Di Nathan, look. 
<laughs> Mikey, you came back. Nathan, wait. Why is he just sitting there? Because he's probably hurt. Mikey, are, are you okay? Are you okay, boy? Mikey, holy shit. Nathan, what's wrong with his eyes? Why, why, why do they look like that? Uh, I, I don't know. M Mikey, can you see me? His, his tail is starting to wag. He, he knows you. He knows it's you. Oh, oh my god. What is that? Is that puke? That's not normal! Nathan, that looks like the shit we saw in the hunter's clothes! Mikey. M Mikey. Are you okay? Nathan, he's not okay. Something is really wrong. He's, he's sick or something. W what's wrong with him? I, I don't know. Shit, it's too late to walk back to the truck. We're gonna have to wait until morning to get out of here. He doesn't look like he's in pain. C come here, boy. Come here. Why is he moving like that? It looks like his bones are out of place. But look at his tail. He's happy to see me. He's not eating. He just sits there and stares at me. Every time he opens his mouth, more of that stuff comes out. It's even coming from his eyes. When I touch him, he's cold. It doesn't feel right. It's too soft. There's nothing firm under his skin. Nathan, I don't think that's Mikey anymore. What? But he still recognizes me. How could this not be Mikey? I, I don't know, but... But did you just hear everything you just said? None of that sounds normal. When he moves, it's like his skin is hanging off of him, and he isn't breathing. Can you feel a heartbeat? No. I can't even look at him. It's freaking me out. He hasn't blinked once. But how... How is this possible? I don't fucking know. And that isn't Mikey anymore. It's, it's something wearing his skin. That's just the feeling I get. Somehow it knows you, though. Like, like it absorbed Mikey from the inside, and, and knows what Mikey loved most. That... That doesn't make any sense. Then you tell me what it is. Let's... Let's put it in your tent tonight, and you can sleep in mine with me. And maybe we should leave it behind. What? No. If there's any bit of Mikey still in there, I can't leave him here. I'm telling you, that isn't Mikey. Nathan. Nathan. You awake? Sorry, Nathan, but I have to get rid of that thing. Sam? Sam? Sam! Mikey! Sam! Sam, what are you doing in here? Where's Mikey? Sam! Sam, where's Mikey? Look at me. Why are you... Why do you feel so cold? Oh, oh my god. Sam. No! Sam! Let go of me! Get off! Get off of me! Sam! Stop! Sam! <coughs> Get away from me! Another pit. Sam. Oh my god. Sam! <laughs> Sam.
Hey, I was hoping you'd stop by on the way back. I found a misplaced box of Pudge Pies. Save it for you guys. Oh, uh, you're alone. Where's your friend? You know, that was actually pretty good. You think so? Well, I certainly enjoyed it, and I like to think I have very discerning taste. The subtle tragedy running under the larger fear makes for an appetizing treat and... Uh, hmm, yes, I do feel a little stronger as a result. Thank you. Of course, I'm, I'm glad you liked it. Um, do you think you could release me? Uh, I don't know. If Scully's on this Annie Wilkes kick, he might try to hobble you if he catches you. I don't have feet, plus he's already snipped off some of my ghostly essence. Oh, did he? Well, that's no good. It's mostly the salt circle, honestly. I'm stuck in it and can't drift past it, but disrupting it is not very simple. Or you could just break it with your foot, that's not risky at all. But, uh, seeing as I can drift out and away, it worked. Thank you again. Your hearse is parked in our driveway. Sorry, if I had realized it was the Pasta Shades hearse, I would have come in here sooner. But, uh, thanks for featuring my story. Happy to help in turn, I guess. Darling, would you like tea or milk with your cookie? You should go. You got it. Ciao. He floats, but I can hear footsteps? Oh, darling! Hmm? You? What are you doing in here? Did you let my darling escape? I just came back to get my scissors. Oh, oops. Did I ruin your salt circle looking for them? I am so not sorry. Oh, we were getting along so well, too. I really thought we had something. Okay, that wasn't what I saw. What were you really after anyway? He didn't produce my story. I guess sometimes you just have to... <laughs> Cut your losses. I got what I really wanted. Now let's see what I can do with this essence of shade. Midnight Marinera is written, produced, directed, and mixed by David King. This episode features the voices of Ben Spiegel as Sam, Ty Lucas as Nathan, Kayla Berry as the clerk, and David King as the hunter. Quality Time was written by Jesse Reyes and David King. Music by Kevin McLeod. Scully's Love is by Nightmare. Do you prefer your abominations creamy or crunchy? Feel free to let us know by subscribing to this podcast and leaving us some feedback with a rating and review on Apple Podcasts. You can also email us at midnightmarinera at gmail.com or follow us on Twitter or on Tumblr. And hey, if you'd like to give a little extra to the show and realize the real monsters are outside the closet, consider becoming a patron and supporting our Patreon with a small monthly donation. This month's epitaph. Here lies what's left of Timothy Snyder. He did not go quiet into that gentle night, and we are fortunate there was any trace of him left to entomb. Rest in peace.